Hello again and welcome to another CMC TV talent with John Santos. It's the show designed to showcase Canadian talent. Today we have another Long and McQuaid saying contest season 16 sneak preview. We're going to introduce you to another very talented young artist. She was born in Umarket to parents of Macedonian and Western European heritage. She's a singer, songwriter, actress and dancer. She attends a theater school and since age six has been in over 20 musical productions. Recently, she has been writing and recording at the SCJS studios with Anthony Wright. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Charlotte Clementine. Hi Charlotte, welcome to the show. Hi, it's great to be here. You're just a little girl, how old are you? I'm 11 years old. 11? Oh my gosh, I thought you were younger than that. I know, you, you didn't like that, did you? Trust me, when you get older, you're gonna love that. Now, how old were you when you started singing? Probably around three, maybe younger. I started singing in public when I was six, but I started actually singing probably really young. And do you remember your very first song? The first song I sang in public was Hallelujah. First song you sang in public was Hallelujah. And the very first song that you sang before it was in public. Too long ago. <laughs> I probably don't remember that. <laughs> yeah. Now, you have been in a short film. What film was that? Nowhere Land. Nowhere Land. We have a couple of stills from the movie. Can you please tell us what these scenes are? That one, I'm in the car. I'm the younger version of the main character and my father has just passed away due to war and I'm just really sad missing him in the car and I'm drawing on the window just missing him. And this, uh, this photo, you're in a cemetery, what is that? I'm going to the cemetery um, with my grandma and I'm dancing in the cemetery. It's kind of a flashback scene since I'm the younger version of the main character and it's just me dancing around in the graveyard. You love acting, don't you? Yes. <laughs> you also hosted a talent show. Tell us about it. Well, it is called The Talent Show on Toronto Student Media Network. I hosted it with a puppet, a very sassy puppet, who loves to steal the spotlight as my co-host, and I introduce all sorts of talent. Wow, you've done so much. 20 musical theater productions. Please name a few. Frozen, Willy Wonka, Susicle, and Matilda. And what roles did you play? In Frozen, I played Olaf, and Willy Wonka, I played Veruca Salt. In Susicle, I played Horton the Elephant. And in Matilda, it was an adult show, so I just played a schoolgirl, but it was really fun. Oh my gosh, you've done so much. Yeah, and you were, only, you were only six years old when you did your first musical. Do you remember which one? It was Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. You're also into drawing. What do you like drawing? I like drawing eyes, people, and flowers. Wow, well, what can't you do? And do you enjoy creative uh, writing? Outside of lyrics, what do you write? I like to write scripts for musicals and movies, as well as stories. And this never ends. You also like to edit videos. What, vi what videos have you edited? I do sometimes like to edit videos, film and edit videos of like the scripts that I have written and stuff. I've tried to do that with my cousins and stuff. It's wow. really nice. Now tell me. This is a very important question. What can't you do? <laughs> I don't like to play sports. You don't like sports? Well, I like to dance and swim, but I don't really like sports with balls. But you are incredibly, incredibly talented. I never met a kid your age that did so much. Now, here's the other part of your talent. Uh, lately, 
you've been writing and recording with one of the best producers in Canada. He's world class, Anthony Wright. You've been writing and recording at the CJS studios. Uh, how is that going? It's really great. I write at home and then I go to the studio and he does so much producing magic on it. It's really epic. He does a lot of magic? Producing magic. <laughs> He's very good, Anthony's very good. How about singing a song for us? Sure. What would you like to sing? Broken Vaz. Can you please describe the lyrics? Broken Vaz is a metaphor song. It's about this rose that's so perfect, not a single thorn. It represents a person where everyone thinks this person is so perfect. But in reality, their vase is really broken and the vase represents their life. And what inspired you to write this? Things just normally pop into my mind, but I also do listen to a lot of other artists' songs and that kind of gets me thinking. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Broken Vaz. She's like a rose, but with no thorns. But no one knows her life is torn. She seems perfect in every way. Hey. She looks like she came from a fair. Page. I look deeply in her eyes and then I slowly realize if she's so happy then why does she cry? Cause she's like a beautiful flower just like a rose but her voice is so broken
the phones are so broken and nobody knows so it's like she doesn't even have a shield to her heart if her voice is so broken then why does she look like art cause she has a broken Cause she has a broken voice Cause she has a broken voice Cause she has a broken Wow, Charlotte, that was amazing. Do you know what you get when you look up your name in the dictionary? What? Talented. You gotta try that. That was an amazing song. Um, tell me something. What, um, what's your favorite place to write? Um, at the piano. At the piano. So you play the piano and... Yeah. I like to get chords and stuff. I don't formally play the piano. Like, my fingers aren't really right, but I like to do Your chords. fingers are great for the piano. They're long. They're yeah, nice. but I don't know how to put my fingers on, right next. on the piano. That's next. I know you're going to play the piano. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been watching the show? Yes. And you know what's coming up? Rapid fire. Rapid fire. Now, is this that scary? Some kids get so nervous. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's easy. It's just for people to laugh at home. <laughs> Are you ready? Yep. All right. Favorite character that you've played? Probably Olaf. How many songs have you written? I think I'd say around five, maybe. Favorite food? Favorite food? I like udon noodles. Best vacation? Um, maybe going to Montreal. Last Halloween costume? A creepy puppet. <laughs> Favorite ice cream flavor? Chocolate. Cake or pie? Cake. Movies or plays? Plays. Wow, you got me. Very good, very good. Now, if you want people to follow you, what's your main platform? Instagram. And what is it? Charlotte underscore Clementine dot official. Or the singingcontest.com. She's going to be very soon all over the place there. Now, this is the time that the microphones are on, cameras are on, and you can say anything you want, and you can thank anybody that you want. Okay. I'd like to thank my family and friends for supporting me this whole way, Anthony Wright for producing my songs and making music videos of them, my songwriting teacher for helping me start with songwriting, and you for having me on this show. Oh, you're very welcome. And I would like to thank CMC TV for the opportunity to promote young talent. Now, Charlotte, we're going to be closing this show with a video, your video. Will you please introduce the video? The song is called Distance Just Isn't For Us. And it's about a long distance relationship where these people are trying to do this long distance relationship, but things just don't work out. And that's basically what the song and the video is about. And you wrote it? Yes. Well, Charlotte, you are indeed, indeed very talented. Thank you so much for coming to the show. And you're always, always welcome here. Anytime you have anything to promote, you know the number. Thank you. As a sponsor of the singing contest, CHHA AM 1610 is providing contestants with exclusive radio airtime to promote their music. Please check out thesayingcontest.com for more details. And don't forget to sign up for season 16. It's free. My friends, another week has passed. Thank you for tuning in. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Distance Just Isn't For Us. Stay safe. Bye. Drove right past the waterfalls, drove straight to Montreal, just to see you. Heartbeats rushing on the train, stayed up late on Saturdays, just to please you.